Hey everybody, this is Dr. Paul Thomas talking about strep throat. So group A streptococcus, um, that's a bacteria that causes strep throat. Um, it's November 17th today, so a lot of people are coming in saying, oh, I've got this sore throat, um, I think it's strep. Well, only about 20% of the time is a sore throat or a pharyngitis actually strep throat or streptococcal pharyngitis. Uh, most of the time, 80% of the time, when you have a sore throat, it's most likely to be a virus or a viral infection that's affecting the back of your throat. And, it, you know, it's hard to tell these th two things apart when you're experiencing them. Um, but if you do have this condition, it's something that a doctor can help you with. So um, let's talk about what makes them different. Usually a virus, um, it starts slowly. Um, you get a runny nose, cough, congestion. It usually lasts for seven to 10 days, but some people have a rough time with it and can actually last for up to two weeks. Now, on the other hand, a bacterial throat infection, uh, first off, it's more common in kids, those under 14 years of age, and it usually comes on with a fever, um, a red throat, discharge from the back of the throat, some swollen lymph nodes. There's actually five criteria known as the Centaur criteria, and I'll list those off for you now. So it's age less than 14, fever, tender lymph nodes, red throat with discharge, and uh, absence of a cough. So really an absence of like the runny nose, cough, congestion that are markers for a viral infection. So treatment for this, um, well, if it's a virus, you wanna go with um, plenty of fluids, tea, tea with honey, uh, rest, uh, you want to wash your hands really well and make sure you don't spread it to anybody else. And then if it is a bacteria, what you want to do is, is get a throat swab or a strep culture and see what that looks like. And if it's positive, you want to go forward with treatment, typically amoxicillin. Um, but, you know, you want to let your doctor or pharmacist dose that out for you. So that's a little quick health tip for you. I hope you're not struggling with a sore throat this uh, fall, winter season. But if you are... Um, you can reach out to us. We're Plum Health, www.plumhealthdpc.com. We'd love to help you through this. So thank you so much for listening. Have a great day.